You can get very complicated if you want to, um, but unexplained subfertility in general terms would be considered to be couples who've tried for a reasonable length of time, as a, uh, the label sometimes given at the year mark, certainly by the two year mark, that's a statistical thing, where standard assessment of fertility has not shown a significant problem. In other words, um, the couple are having reasonably regular intercourse to give themselves the opportunity of conception, the fallopian tubes are okay, the woman's ovulating on a regular basis and the man has a normal or near normal sperm test and therefore there's nothing obvious to pick up to say there's something going on here fundamentally reducing your chances.